Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to show you the most amazing moment of the Call of Dragons, Zone 3. Still Hell Pirates are fighting against three alliances. One is MA. Uh, the second one is LM and uh, the third one is, let me check one more time, GLR, um, MA and MA and uh, the other alliance LM just merged so we are actually fighting three alliances together. That's the situation currently uh, because of the territory we had to choose and pick where to fight. Uh, they are attacking us, so we have Spire here, they pushed us through their Spire and they of course don't want to fight um, in the Spire range, right? So the only way for them to move forward is to cross this bridge and of course uh, it, will, it, it was our main idea to defend on this spot and let's see how this defense will turn out and how much merits we are going to get. Uh, in general, I'm pretty happy about my kingdom because almost every single day we are having a lot of fun, a lot of activity. Um, the, these guys, GLR, are the strongest alliance in the kingdom, I think. Uh, yes, yeah, they are in terms of power. So, like, our enemies needed, like, three alliances together in order to compete against us, which is totally fine. Uh, some alliances are easily getting some allies, some alliances are fighting alone. And yeah, we of course have some al alliances too. Uh, for example, our family alliance, which is SIP, and the other allies are fighting their own battle, right? Uh, so far, we are waiting until they will try to push towards our territory. It won't gonna be easy, uh, simply because we are outnumbered. Uh, we are simply right now fighting alone against three alliances and we will try to win this battle tactically in order for us to survive and to win time until our family alliance will uh, take down the spire in terms of my legions as i have mentioned many many times i'm a free to play player who is playing marksman since the day one of the call of dragons even before uh, long range warfare was with us i was playing with marksman right uh, so far i managed to get 1.1 million merits and of course I want to get more uh, simply because last season um, I had 7 million merits and um, right now my main goal is to get uh, 10 million merits right now enemy is gathering towards ourselves you can see how much the members they have currently in this fight uh, and I'm pretty sure as soon as they will gather all the members together, uh, it will be pretty huge fight. Of course, they are not risking to attack the level 3 Spire, which is dealing humongous damage um, even against tier 5 players. And I think fight on this bridge will be pretty epic. And I hope uh, this video will be fun and helpful in order to understand how to fight in this game, right? As I have mentioned many times in general tactics for war, uh, you have to have infantry players, mainly tier 5 infantry players on top, because they are main, uh, main source of defense and main source of attack. Uh, in terms of cavalry, you can see we have way less cavalry here, because in the war situations, whenever there is huge amount of legions around the battle, Field. Cavalry does not really uh, change the direction of the war. What, what changes the direction of the war is infantry players and range units. Infantry players are giving us the cover and the time uh, to range legions in order for them to deal as much damage as possible. I think main idea of this kind of wars is like which infantry legions will survive more and as I can see enemy is starting to move and we are going to see pretty epic battle. Of course they have like uh, twice or third time more legions in this battlefield but I think uh, strategy matters and let's see what we are gonna do as a free to play player in this kind of fight. Finally. They are pushing right now. Of course, I will try to not focus on the infantry because I think that will be the job of the um, tier 5 players. I will be trying to focus on mage players. That's my job and I hope I can, I can do my job pretty well, right? 
of course these cavalry players are just free hits as always uh, uh, we should be using our advantage which is of course uh, the bridge uh, it should be quite hard for them to cross this bridge but in terms of mum numbers they are so many that um, I'm pretty sure it won't gonna be easy for us to defend this place uh, we, sometimes I can zoom in sometimes I can't depending on the war depending how much region they are or even if we are getting some lags so far it's pretty cool uh, we lost a couple of infantry members but they are not trying to cross the across the bridge uh, our main job here is to uh, buy some time in order for our family alliances to build up and try to uh, get the level 4 spiral it's getting laggy so I will try to just simply zoom out and click on the legions like that because I'm pretty sure it's almost impossible to understand who is tier 5 player here and who is not uh, simply because there are just too many enemies on the battlefield and that should not be easy uh, I'm, I'm trying to play more defensively that's how I think our tank should play because it will be quite hard for us to go even in terms of legions right now for the enemy uh, because we are simply outnumbered right now of course we won the battle of the bridge in a small battle our infantry survived longer but it does not mean that the whole war is war won uh, because they have more members on this war and uh, we need to be cautious of course in terms of refilling they have to make long run in order to catch us but still of course we are going to try our maximum now, i'm always trying to click on the mage legions because they are dealing less amount of counter-attack damage that's always what i advise so this is pretty cool uh, battle on the bridge uh, i'm pretty sure uh, it will be super hard to get more and more merits in this kind of fights because there are like too much tier 5 players around and there is a small choke point where enemies five level artifacts will be dealing huge amount of damage so we will try to be tricky we will try to survive as much as we can so far i'm thinking i'm doing pretty fine because i have not been targeted i will not be greedy and i won't gonna go for the merits because we are trying to be winners in this war and uh, winning in general is way more important than getting merits right that's my general idea i think my auto cast just made a wonderful um, uh, phoenix i cast because i had i hit multiple targets which is amazing and so far i think we are doing fine uh, simply because we have way less uh, legions on this bridge fight than enemy so we should be taking care of the health of the legions uh, like uh, from the both sides uh, infantry players are gone now it's time to uh, show them who understands fighting and who can fight in in, in a better uh better way whenever like you can show how you can fight whenever enemy is outnumbering you and you are still trying to defend and you are doing pretty fine right uh, right now the whole idea of this fight is to just survive uh, to not be greedy uh, to understand that our main point is to just defend here right I'm, I'm thinking that I got targeted first time but I managed to wait, go back and I I think uh, I just made enemies to follow me which is always great thing to do whenever you are uh, playing as a range unit I think I just use a pretty good shadow blades because enemy is just trying to brute force their way towards us and i'm not sure if that's a good idea uh, simply because uh, they are pushing without infantry and as i have said many many times don't push without infantry because you will be destroyed uh, right now we are standing on our ground uh, it looks pretty amazing fight and i'm really interested how much merits i can get from this fight uh, so far we are doing fine um, i'm waiting for uh, my alliance members to refill whoever managed to die in this fight and let's see how long we can survive as a tier 4 player because i have said it many many times uh, even if you are a free to play player you can have fun in this game uh, only thing you need to understand that you need to know how to 
position yourself during war. Uh, we are fighting against one alliance right now, second alliance is gathering here and they are waiting until the next push will happen. Uh, of course, we, you guys can see uh, the comments from my alliance members, from my leadership, that we should not step on the on the bridge. We, well, our main idea is to just defend, and I think that's what we are actually doing right now. Uh, uh, this video will be over whenever every single legion of mine will be gone and we will be checking the uh, merit score for my legions and after that I'm thinking of turning the live stream on because this war will be going on for a couple of hours and I want to be participant not just a watcher. Uh, in general whenever I'm taking the uh, videos about the war I want to be the uh, actor in the war, I want to have a gameplay not just to watch it because I think it's pretty boring not only to just watch uh, in general uh, like not for you guys even for myself like watching war it not taking part in it it kind of sucks right I think we did amazing job we defended this bridge pretty amazingly so far uh, like I got targeted like couple of times but not that much uh, I thought I would be gone in couple of seconds simply because enemy has way more legions uh, against us and we do still have some troops uh, which we are going to use in this area one big plus which we have currently is that our town and our cities are much much closer than theirs but you can see how much more enemy troops they have here uh, gathered right so it's kind of advantage and kind of disadvantage. This is what happens whenever you are in a defending stance. Uh, this video is about how to defend properly even out, even against outnumbered enemies. Uh, so you will be able to get merits, you will be able to win these small fights and uh, like my videos are always about my own experiences so that's the main idea of the uh, video. I hope it will be helpful, I hope it will be helpful for your alliance leaders because uh, tactics in Call of Dragons matters a lot and I think without tactics and without understanding how to fight even if you are more powerful than your uh, enemy you might even lose. Uh, so far we are doing absolutely amazing job, um, we are trying to defend as much as possible even if our legions are dying and dying we are trying to do our job. In terms of numbers you can see we are really outnumbered but uh, simply because we made the correct choice and we transferred our troops to the side where we didn't have a spire it made way way easier for us to know and for us to defend this uh, place. Uh, if this uh, group of people will start pushing it will be pretty hard for us to defend unfortunately and that's what's going to happen right now of course i will try to use my legions uh, and uh, i will try to uh, take as much merits as possible out of this fight but so far i don't think we will be able to defend this push uh, because they are just too much if i will be using my artifacts in this case that will be the best possible option so far uh, and mainly i think if we will be able to defeat these infantry players it will be way way easier for us to defend of course here I will try to click on mages, I will try to click uh, on cavalry players because they are the easiest target. Uh, somehow somebody managed to target my legion, I'm not sure how but uh, that's totally fine. My legions are almost gone and um, my main idea was here to, to just use artifact because artifact is doing way more damage than my normal attacks currently. Yeah, I, I kind of removed the target and their infantry legions are dying, so uh, now, right now, our main idea is to just buy time in order for us to uh, get more help uh, from our alliance members. This guy is of course tier 5 player, it's pretty useless to uh, zoom in and because I don't know the, the every single name of the enemy uh, who is fighting against us and who is tier 5 and who is not. Uh, so like I'm pretty sure they had a lot of tier 5 players, we had way less and simply because we understand how to fight in a proper way we managed to defend this bridge. It was a pretty epic fight 
right uh, unfortunately my legions are gone and right now soon we are going to check how much merits we got out of this fight and also how much is the troop count in the hospital because that's pretty important uh, in order to fight longer you need to have uh, legions you need to understand how to use hospital and in general i think you need to know uh, the uh, like your resources your uh, capacity of the war and how you can fight against your five players finally my legions are gone now it's time for us to check how much merits we got whenever i see yellows that always makes me happy it, it means that we did absolutely fine as a two four player as a free to play player who haven't even spent a single dollar uh, having the yellows in terms of merit numbers it it feels absolutely amazing i need to say that we were fighting mainly tier 5 players because the, those alliances has too much tier 5 players against us so like this is another showcase how you can manage to get merits even if you are fighting against tier 5 players main idea is that you need to be a game a team player playing with your alliance members this game is not for solo players it will be pretty hard for you if you are just solo player in terms of strengths of my legions my best legion is Nico and Kinara Kinara is my only awakened hero other heroes are strictly free to play heroes the second best one i guess is uh uh, Greg and Thea and Waldo and Welling pretty same in terms of strengths and the weakest one is uh, Syndron and Fregar. Uh, Syndron and Fregar is 5-1-1 uh, both of them uh, and Craig and Waldo is of course Awakened simply because Awakening epic heroes is not that hard right. Now it's time for me to show the hospital. This is the hospital amount which I have. Not bad, right? Uh, if you are playing defensive, if you are not trying to do the like aggressive things uh, during this kind of fights, you will manage to have way less severely wounded troops, and you will be able to fight more and more. Of course, I have some elixirs to uh, heal for this fight. I would. This is what I managed to get uh, during the uh, preparation stages. So whenever I will turn on the live stream it will be pretty epic because I will be able to fight uh, for the longer time uh, this is the idea about this video uh, defending in the call of dragons makes uh, things easier so understand game and as I have mentioned before if you are even tier 4 and free to play player you will you can have merits and you will have tons of fun playing call of dragons uh, if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more motivation to make content for this game and as always, uh, everybody, have a good night, have a good morning, have a good evening, wherever you are. We are going to see each other very, very soon. Bye-bye and good luck.